Hello, it's Carly McAvoy. I wanted to talk about how to use your TI-36X Pro when you're asked to find the mean from a frequency distribution and you're given the classes, so you have the limits. And when you have that and you have frequencies, you want to use your midpoint. To find the midpoint, you just add the lower class limit and the upper class limit and divide by 2. Now notice that the class width here, which you find from subtracting 1.7 from 6.8, the class width is always going to be 5.1 here. And I want you to recognize that the midpoints are also have a difference of 5.1. Once I find the first midpoint, I could just add 5.1, add 5.1 again, add 5.1 again, and I can get those midpoints. But once I know the midpoints and the frequencies, then I could do this calculation just using a calculator here. Notice that the total number of the frequency total is 18, and then I can multiply each of my midpoints times the, the value. But what if I want the calculator to do this for me? So let's take a look at that. Always when I'm using the calculator, I want to clear out any of the old values before I get started. So I'm going to start by pushing on holding that down and pushing clear twice. That's going to clear all of my memory. Now I'm going to go to my data and I'm going to enter the midpoints as they were given, which was 4.2. And remember to enter that data, I'm going to hit that enter button or the down arrow on my navigation button up there. And then 9.3, 14.4, and 19.5. So once I've gotten my four data values into that, I want to then go over to the next column. And now I want to enter the frequencies for each of those. And I can't remember what those were. Let's go back and see. The frequencies given were 2, 7, 8, and 1. And I want to make sure and put those in in the right order because they match up to the particular classes they're associated with. So 2, 7, 8, and 1. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to enter 2, 7, 8, and 1. Notice that those frequencies are matched up to the classes that they were associated with. Now that I've got that in there, I want the calculator to do some work for me, so I'm going to ask it to do stat calculations by going to second function because I want the button that's above data. So I'm going to go to second function and data. And again, I'm going to go to one variable stats and I'm going to hit enter. So it's saying your data is in L1. Is that what you want? And I do want that because that's where I put that initial data. Then it says, what about your frequency? Is it one? Well, it's not one because I had different frequencies for each class. And where I put that frequency was in the second column, which is L2. So I want it to look at the data in L1 and the frequencies in L2. So I'm going to hit Enter. And now I'm ready to calculate. And then I get that there were 18 total data values and that the mean was 11.566667. And that rounds to 11.6, which is what we got when we did it on paper before. It also has all of these other calculations in it if you were interested in those from that data set. But specifically, I was just talking about the mean for this one, but all the other calculations are, would be available as well. So you can have midpoints with different numbers of frequencies very easily calculate that using the TI-36X Pro. All right, have a fantastic day. We'll see you next time.